Guys, today is the best time imaginable to be a Sonic fan right now because we had a bunch of stuff to talk about for the movie, of course. So the first thing, of course, being the movie teaser, which just dropped. So let's look at that first. Yep, you see the electricity. Look how crazy it is. There we go. There's the three. Yeah, you can clearly tell that was live and learn right there. And that laugh, that laugh was confirmed to be Eggman as well. Because so this article went up uh, along with the teaser saying Jim Carrey will prize his role as the mad scientist for middle facial hair in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And yep, there we go. He's coming back, which is good because we were all worried that he wasn't going to be back because when the, the teaser dropped or wait when he a while back Jim Carrey said he was going to be retiring but thankfully he's coming back so we're safe we are definitely locked in and it's going to be fire with him and we also saw we're getting more to the cast list because IGN also just put this out as well with their cast list so at the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 ads Kristen Ritter Christo Fernandez, Ayla Brown, and more. So, yeah, I, you can tell, you, I'm sure you recognize her from, I forgot which Marvel show. Well, it, it was Jessica Jones, right? I, I think it was Jessica Jones. I haven't watched it. I know my dad watched more of it, but we also have more as well. Joma Taco, Sophia Pernes, and James Wolf. Now, definitely, I can see... Right now, so this is Ayla Brown right now on, on the right side, on the, the short blonde. This, I definitely think, is Maria. I definitely think she is the one who will be Maria. <laughs> so we are definitely going to see her as Maria. I can definitely say that for sure, that she'll be the one who will uh, begin that uh, tragic death, sadly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, unrelated, but there was a... Um, there was a Paramount Plus ad that had Knuckles standing right beside <laughs> Master Chief. Because <laughs> I, I, we are definitely knowing that the Knuckles show is coming, so they are still working on it. It was supposed to come out last year, but I don't know what happened, so I think it is definitely happening this year now. So I'd say probably maybe it will be a summer. I think this will be either a summer release and then the movie 3 of course is going to launch in December so that they're going to at least give you Knuckles in the summer and then I'm go they're going to have movie 3 in December so I think that will be like a good fit just so they don't have like the merch because like of course we have other stuff happening because like we also have Sonic Shadow Generations happening and I'm not even and we also have apparently other two other games that are happening from what I've heard so well that's going to be interesting so there's a lot more coming. I'm not. I don't feel as worried as much, but I do want to bring it up. Now, as you as you probably heard, we heard live and learn in this teaser, and we're thinking, all right, we're definitely gonna do it. Now, my, the only issue I have is that if they did this with Emerald Hill in the in the first teaser where they played the Emerald Hill theme, and then we didn't hear any other music afterwards. We we only heard like Green Hill, and then that was it. So. Hopefully, they do give us more music because I definitely want them to deliver as much because a lot more people really need it for a lot of the action that's going to be happening in this movie. Johnny from Crush 40 did retweet it and said, hmm, this song sounds familiar. So, we, we, I think we were, we're definitely going to hear it. I definitely think we are going to hear it because I know they were working hard to get the music in the second movie and it didn't happen but i think this time around they're definitely going to do it especially after how mario did it with literally having almost everything and take on me but <laughs> i i definitely think they're going to give us live and learn this time around I'd say by i'd say june here's what i can see happening June is when they do, the, of course, their, I guess the uh, Sonic Central is now yearly at this point, so I can see Sonic Central, they're going to reveal Shadow's voice finally, um, maybe somewhere at that time. I think that would be the best time to do it, and then uh, because it's also like a game showcase, um, I'd say either, I'd, I'd say either Gamescom 
or Summer Game Fest is when they're gonna drop the trailer for Movie 3. I'm, I feel like Gamescom would be a bit better because it would be more of a time gap because um, I don't think you can easily do um, six months of promoting a movie for that long. I think like the, it's better to like do four months. I think it's like normally a four month um, between like put, dropping a trailer and then um, releasing the actual movie. So I think the, the tr first trailer will probably be in in August. I definitely see August being the potential dates. I we would probably get lucky if we got it in um, in Summer Games Fest. Maybe I think you know what you know what Knuckles. They're going to give us the Knuckles show at Summer Game Fest. They're just gonna they're gonna drop a trailer there and then I'd say release it in July and then give us time to watch that and then drop uh the movie three trailer so i definitely see that happening let me know when you think we're all gonna get a lot of this news it's really crazy 2024 is about to be really insane for us all especially for shadow i let me also know who you think it's going to be and i shall see y'all soon i'm gonna go finish up this chili dog that i conveniently got for this video i'll see y'all soon